When you're going fast and getting wind in your face and bending up a ski, it's as good a sensation as anything. You ever stick your head out the window going down the highway and then pull it back in the car and you're like, that's kind of like ski and groomers. It's what I imagine being in a race car feels like, kind of. You know, just like having super good handling and whoa, whoa. I think that's such a cool feeling. get kind of overlooked because they're seen as just a way to get from you know one bowl to the next shoot you know but really they're a fundamental part of skiing and they're you know, fun on their own If you're good at carving, you can ski anything. It can get you out of any situation and it can make it look a lot cooler too when you're ripping down something if you're really like laying sick arcs on it. Growing up in Minnesota and learning how to ski on hard snow and short trails, you have to make every turn count and I really learned to appreciate good turns. And when I started skiing on bigger mountains, I found that the fundamentals I had learned growing up translated everywhere. There's plenty of guys that go big at Snowbird, but if you can't arc a turn, you're not going to impress me. I'm gonna tell you the story of the ice babe. It was our last day of filming, and Robbie's about to take his last run because it was so hot out, the snow was getting slushy, and we just couldn't ski anymore. And out of nowhere, out of the woods, comes the most beautiful girl I've ever seen, wearing nothing but tank top and spandex shorts. She slides right over to us and says, it's really icy out today, huh? And before we could respond, she just skied away. So Ice Babe, if you're watching, call me. Let's go ski some icy groomers. <laughs>